Do you believe that in order to be a successful presenter, you have to be an extroverted, charismatic person? Do you believe in fact that to be charismatic at all when you're public speaking or performing, you have to be an extrovert? This is a misconception and this is the misconception that I am excited to unpack in this video today. I'm going to give you one tip on how to frame your own performance experience and then a step for you to take in investigating this further. So my tip is this. I myself am an introvert and I do these video days. This is the first of my videos for this month and I'm really feeling like I just want to hide in my shell. And so when I have to show up for performance in any way and I'm feeling that I want to hide in my shell, I remind myself of firstly how much I want to express my message and how much I enjoy that. Most importantly, or as importantly, I remind myself that this is finite. Showing up for performance and being outgoing and expressive is something I am doing for a very set period of time and it's within my control. I don't then have to leap off camera and continue to be sharing and expressive. I can go into a quieter place that for the rest of the day maybe feels more comfortable for me. So this is the tip that I wanted to share. Do not feel that you have to be an extrovert to be a great performer. Many well-known performers are introverts and you'll see when they're interviewed how different they are than they are on stage or when they're presenting or when they're performing in film, right? So you are wonderful as you are and you just need to put parameters around the times that you're pushing your envelope to show up for performance. The next thing that I want to share with you is a step you can take to investigate further. And I was fortunate enough to come across a post only today that I found really interesting by one of the accounts I follow, The Introvert Leader, and I'm going to put all the resources to accompany this video. And this was regarding a study that's been done by a man called Jonathan Cheek, who has defined four different types of introversion as follows. Number one is the social introvert. Number two is the thinking introvert. Number three is the anxious introvert. And number four is the restrained introvert. So I invite you to investigate that material further and figure out who you are. Because when we know who we are, and what works for us and what we like and what we don't like. It's much easier to bring that to our own learning journey. You can bring that to a coach like me, a voice and performance coach, if you wanted to work with me. You can bring that to your executive coach. You can bring that to your life coach. And already there's more information for them as to how to tailor the learning experience to your needs and how to frame your own goals in a way that's really going to work for you. If you'd like to explore this further with me, please do check out the link in bio um, to my website and you can book a free discovery call with me so that we can strategize for your future goals. Here's to unlocking your performance power.